Short-lived climate pollutants are a major threat to human health and have gained significant attention in recent years. Black carbon, methane and tropospheric ozone are the main short-lived climate pollutants. They are the most significant drivers of climate change after carbon dioxide. So the really interesting thing about short-lived climate pollutants is that they not only have an effect on the climate in the short term, but they also have air pollution effects. So um, black carbon is a component of particulate matter with a diameter of 2.5 microns, which is very fine dust which can be inhaled, and that has a, very, uh, has a range of effects on human health. And then the interesting thing, especially about ozone, transparent ozone, is also a, um, has an impact on crop yields and on the ecosystems in general. So it affects the functioning of crops and vegetation. Recognising the risk, Stockholm Environment Institute has long been involved with international action to address short-lived climate pollutants. SEI played a central role in coordinating research for a global assessment of black carbon and tropospheric ozone in 2011. OK, so the role SEI played in the integrated assessment of black carbon and tropospheric ozone was really to uh, bring international scientists and institutes working in the area, so the experts in the area, bringing them together and then understanding the, you know, the current state of the art of the science and then as bringing that group together to think about what modelling could be done to move towards practical measures that could be taken to control these substances in the atmosphere. Responding to the evidence, governments and partners established a climate and clean air coalition to reduce short-lived climate pollutants in 2012. SEI is a key partner in the coalition and supports initiatives to mitigate near-term climate change and improve human health, food security and the resilience of ecosystems. In particular, SEI is working with developing countries to build capacity and support national action planning. We have been building capacity in de developing countries to assess air pollution problems. And we've worked in South Asia and in Southern Africa in particular to start with an emission inventory. So where are your most, most polluting sectors? So and we go to the countries and we build the capacity to actually build those emission inventories. And then we link those to more the international emission inventories to inform you know, better estimates of emissions. And the other project that we're a lead partner in is the supporting national action for planning to reduce concentrations of short-lived climate pollutants. And in that initiative, SCI is helping to develop a toolkit which will give developing country governments and related agencies a tool whereby they can assess where the emissions are coming from, where the biggest benefits are likely to be in terms of human health, crops and climate, and where they should focus their efforts so that it helps the countries fine-tune their approach to reducing the short-lived climate pollutants. SEI is supporting countries including Bangladesh, Ghana, Colombia and Mexico to identify their sources of emissions and plan for their reduction. Bangladesh, for example, completed a national plan for action in 2014 and is implementing measures to achieve results. One of the attractive things about the integrated assessment that, that makes it attractive to the developing countries in particular is that they, of the 16 measures they can choose their entry point and they can focus on the measures that will give them the biggest benefits that are important to their governments. So for example at the moment in developing countries like Bangladesh, you know, air pollution is very important. And you know, controlling emissions from the diesel fleet of vehicles by putting on particulate fil filters and improving cook stoves in, for domestic cooking is you know, it's something that has a proven track record that they can that might pay for itself in the long run and has not only has the health benefit but also has the climate benefit as well.